Do you have loose or missing rivets in your belly pan? Are you trying to figure out what size rivets to get? Or maybe you're trying to decide between a hand riveter or using a pneumatic rivet gun. These are all questions we had. So let me show you how we fixed it. So the tools you're gonna to need, we recommend a pneumatic rivet gun. We picked this one up at Harbor Freight. You're also gonna need a drill with a 3 16th size drill bit or whatever drill bit fits your rivet that you buy. We also picked up some sealants to help further prevent corrosion. And then of course, the rivets. We got the 3 16th by 5 8 aluminum rivet. We also got the large head, which is the 5 8 inch diameter on it for the belly pan. You just wanna make sure that every rivet you get, it's long enough to fit through both metals you're attaching together. And of course, goggles, because you're gonna be drilling through metal and you don't want any of that stuff to get in your eyes. If you like me and haven't used a lot of rivets, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when a rivet goes through a piece of sheet metal on the other side to show you exactly how it works. Let's go check it out. Make sure you have the right bit in place because you gotta make sure the rivet fits into the air gun. Now one of the videos I watched recommended getting new drill bits for your drill to make this easier. I highly recommend it as well. Now we bought aluminum rivets because we have an aluminum trailer, but we're also going to coat it in this Sick of Flex 221 just to help prevent more corrosion. Now that we're done replacing all the ribs in our belly pan, it really was a lot easier than I thought. I didn't know what I was doing at the beginning. So I had to do all this research and try to figure it out. A lot of questions, which rivets to use, whether you use a handheld rivet gun or a pneumatic rivet gun. And I just couldn't figure it out. So my wife did a bunch of research. I looked at a bunch of YouTube videos. And we finally figured it out and finally just said, nothing left but to do it. So we finally did it. And here are a couple of my recommendations that I have. Now when it comes to the rivets, the rivets are gonna depend on each individual situation. So we have an aluminum trailer, so we have aluminum rivets, so we can help prevent corrosion. So the size, we got the 5 8 inch diameter because it's a belly pan rivet, so it has a bigger circle to hold up more, so it'd be less likely to let loose over travel time. But we also got the 5 8 inch length because we were going to go through two sheet metals and into the frame, and we wanted to make sure that that made it into the frame and was holding our sheet metal to the frame. So my wife did a lot of research, and she found this Sikaflex 221 it's just another sealant to put on the rivet. It also helps prevent further corrosion. So anything to help corrosion when it comes to anything on your underbelly, it's good. Now when we first started, I already had a hand riveter and I thought there's no need to buy another one because this would probably work. Of course, this wasn't working quite like I thought. So my wife recommended that we use the pneumatic one. So then we got the pneumatic rivet gun from Harbor Freight. We're not gonna be doing a lot of riveting. It's only gonna be a couple times here and there so I didn't need a super expensive riveter gun and this one from Harbor Freight works perfect. Now I did have an issue when I the first one I got when I was pushing down on it it wasn't doing anything with the rivet it wasn't compressing the rivet it was actually shooting the hydraulic oil out of this little hole in the front. I was trying to figure out how I could fix that the fix with that was return it. So if you have if you buy a riveter and it's shooting oil out the front there may be a way to fix it but if you just bought it go ahead and take it back because I bought a new one and the result was 
right out of the box. Didn't have to add any oil. It's already got enough oil in it. You'll have to buy more oil for the future, but right out of the box, you just pull it out, put the right vivid head on, put the compressor nozzle on, and it's ready to go. So there's no question on what do I need to do, what do I need to assemble. It's just put this back piece on, put on the air compressor gun, hook it up, thing is ready to go. And it worked great. So like I said, if you've never done it before, it seems like it's a lot of stuff, but there's really only a few tools you need, and it's a really easy job. So I hope this helps you out. Now go out there and fix your belly pan. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And hit that notification button to see of all of our upcoming videos. Catch you next time.